Last October, Ravens Respect Life recruiter Joe Dobrinsky announced his goal to get 300 people to participate in the March for Life by sleeping in a tent. Without the goal of 300, there would be no way we could have had 200 or you know, the 224, whatever it was. Dobrinsky spent 47 nights in the tent. January 21st, 232 people left Benedictine College to attend the March for Life. 77% of the goal with the largest group ever to represent Benedictine College. The buses, we only, only had enough to take four buses, which held 224 people. And then with some of the students and faculty flying out, that brings it up to 232. We did have a waiting list of more people to go. Uh, it wasn't enough to, uh, that we could get a fifth bus. Okay. Say that uh, sleeping in the tent uh, created, you know, this huge surge of people signing up. But um, you know, if you look at the numbers, we did have the most uh, people that have ever gone on a march for life. Uh, but I, you know, I, I hope that that wasn't the only reason people went. I think one of the things it really did is it showed the campus like what we're willing to do to support life and to end abortion and go on the March for Life and show this country like what we're doing. It's like, I mean, he was out there in the cold, sub-freezing temperatures and he kept going even though at some points we weren't getting people to sign up for like weeks. Okay. And we see a, a growing trend among young people of embracing uh, the pro-life movement and recognizing that each human person um, from the womb the natural death is uh, made in the image and likeness of God, and I think that's showing in this trip. Anne Heschmeyer, Circuit Online.